Hey, you guys. Um, I am sitting here with some new paper I want to show you, and I'm going to try a couple different techniques. And look, do not open on video. I have been holding on to this for freaking a month now, and I've wanted, I've been busting at the seams, and I've wanted to share it. Finally, I can share it because it's out. So I'm going to do a couple different techniques with you using Renea foil paper. In case you are not familiar with what this is, I'll give a little lowdown of some things that you can do with it. Um, basically, what Renea foil paper is, is it is paper that is foiled on both sides. So it's really, it comes across as super delicate. It holds its shape. You can bend it. It'll hold its shape. If you don't like it bent, then you can go ahead and flatten it out. When you rip it, you can see that there is paper between the foil and it is basically colored foil on um, each side and you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with this you can use it in place of regular paper it's shiny like foil it die cuts beautifully embossed is lovely and they actually have some new colors out with that I want to show you I do have a link provided to the shop down below we are going to do some stamping with this we're going to use some alcohol ink on this and we also are going to be using some color burst on this and alcohol ink so it's gonna be fun um, I'm going to show you the, the ghost ink as well. So this is a new color. It is so pretty. It's like a maroon. I don't know the names of these yet, you guys. I'm really sorry. I don't know the names of them yet. So, but they're new. And the back sides are always, always gold. And then they have a new blue out. Super pretty. And let's see what else do we have here. I have a couple different ones to play with. We have a new white out. I forgot the name of this too. I'm so sorry. White, this is really kind of exciting, this white one. I'm really happy about this one. And again, the back side of it is gold. And we also have out a new, this is like a darker type blue, almost like a navy. So pretty, so pretty. And then something that Renia Foil Paper does is they have starstruck. So it's an embossed, um, it's an embossed texture. And they have these out in the new colors as well. I love, 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 love this. So there's four new colors out <clears throat> as well as their other line. So lots of fun here. Um, just that. So, so pretty. So let's get into what you can do with Renia foil paper. The easiest thing that you can do with this paper is obviously distress it. And what I mean by that is you can just take it, you know, really kind of beat it up like this, and then you can open it up, take a stays on ink on it, and just go over these, the highlighted areas, okay? and it'll really distress it. It only tears when you want it to tear. I tore that intentionally to show you that it is paper. So you can just open this back up and then, and I like that even though it's distressed, it will still lay relatively flat. All right, so that's pretty stinking cool. I'm looking for my stays on ink right now. And here we go. So I have some jet black stays on ink. And you know, you can go over the top of it with that stays on ink and give it a nice distressed look. So that's really fast and easy thing you can do with it. The other thing that you can do with it is you can actually um, stamp on it. And so let me grab this silver. You're gonna take just your straight up but I like to use um, a rubber cling foam stamp, but you can use anything. And if you want to add ink to the paper, then this is what you're going to do. So you take it on the silver, pop it on over, lay it down. Don't smoosh it around, because if you smoosh it around, it, it is a slick surface, and it'll, uh, it'll definitely move. And then boom, once that dries, it's permanent. It won't move, okay? So we just added 
color to the paper. So now what I want to do is I want to show you the ghost ink. And this is the technique that I discovered and I came up with. Um, I stumbled upon this at Creativation in 2017 playing. And they formulated an ink off of it. And so um, it's really cool. Instead of adding color, you're going to take color away. So what you want to do is you want to take a darker type paper. So let's take some of this new paper that we have, this really pretty like burgundy paper right here that we have. And we're going to just take our ghost ink. I'm going to get my paper towel out and ready. So you're going to need your paper towel. I'm going to make sure that this is relatively clean. I'm going to take my ghost ink. Now ghost ink is formulated this and I just re-inked this so it's super 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 moist. Ghost ink is formulated for Renia foil paper. So this won't work on any other kind of paper out there. Okay so let's just take this. We're going to pop it on right here. Try not to smoosh it around too much. We're going to wait one Scooby-Doo to Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we're gonna just rub it off. And it removes that foil so you get the beautiful silver underlay. And that is how ghost ink works. And this again is only formulated for this paper. This will not work on any other paper. You cannot remove color from any other paper. This works exclusively with this line. So you've seen us how we can use stays on ink on it to add color to it. And you've seen how we can remove color from it. So, and you've seen how to distress it. Now let's go ahead and have some fun and let's do some alcohol ink dropping on this paper. This is a lot of fun. I love alcohol ink on this paper. And I like to use silver to do this because silver tends to just really show off the color really nicely. So I'm gonna grab out a couple sheets because I wanna do a couple different techniques on this. I'm gonna first start off just by dropping alcohol ink on it. And then I'm going to go ahead and utilize um, some color burst to see how that interacts. Because the alcohol ink that I'm using actually does interact with water and things like that. So I'm going to use some bright blue. Um, I'm also going to use some green. And I think I want to use some yellow. I'm going to be respectful of my color families here, but I know that green is made with yellow and blue. I'm totally looking for my yellow. There we go. So I'm using some Christy Taylor alcohol ink. Um, she has a couple different types of um, br like brands out. So basically the yellow, the yellow with the blue label, everything with a blue label has sparkle in it. And everything with a yellow label is just a really beautiful, vibrant color. So I accidentally only pulled sparkle out. So actually I'm going to put the bright blue back and use this brass blue on it. Oh, that's sparkle too. No, wait, I do have that. I'm losing my mind. All right, so we're gonna shake it up first. Just give it a nice shake. And we're just gonna start to lay some color out on this. So I'm just gonna put some yellow down first. And then I can just take my blower from Ranger and just kind of move that around until it dries on the surface. All right, and then I want to put a little bit more down here. Again, just going to move that around until it dries on, dries. And then let's put some green on. And I just like to kind of work in, in batches here. Okay. 
Now, since this is a slick surface, it does stay wet a little bit longer than if you were to apply it to just straight up UPO paper. Uh, that's how this alcohol ink works. And then this is the blue one. And as you can see, it's not, there's no um, sparkle in it like there is in the other ones. I don't know if you can see that sparkle, but there definitely is some. All right, and so I'm just going to lay out once again, let's just do some yellow, and then let's also do some more of this beautiful green. And then let's also do some blue. And I think I need to throw some more yellow on. So this is Renee of Wallpaper if you're just joining us. And if you can hear my family, it's because we're all home. We're staying home, staying healthy. So I got dogs, I got birds, I got kids. I got it all. All right, so we're just going to blow this around. Until we get it to our liking, move it up, maneuver it around, and see I even have some right there. Take and just dip that in the edges for some cool effect. Kind of fun. All right. So that's our first, that's our first page right there, okay. This is the Renea foil paper with the alcohol ink, and it works beautifully with it. I absolutely love it. So we're gonna move on from here. We're actually gonna throw some color burst down on some silver paper, like we just did. And then we're gonna put some alcohol ink over that as well. And again, Christy Taylor alcohol ink does interact with water, so that's kind of cool. All right, so for this one, I've never done this. Never done it, you guys. I just got an idea to do it. So let's see how this works. I'm going to first put down my um, I'm going to first put down my color burst, sprinkle it out, and then I will wet it, and then I will put on my alcohol ink. I don't even know how well this is going to work for real. I have no no clue how well this is gonna work. I just don't know. Oh, that's the first time you've seen the blower used? Oh, yeah, they actually had it on scrapbook.com. Um, I caught it, gosh, probably a month ago. I think it just went up on Ranger. Okay, so we've kind of wet that down to get that moving, all right? Kind of fun, kind of fun. All right, now we're gonna start to play a little bit. <laughs> And I want to put on some purple, 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 purple. And I'm going to, I actually am going to blow around this um, color burst. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> why not? That's, I would like some more pink in that, I think. And you know, I'm not gonna add more water. I'm just gonna add color burr. I'm gonna add the alcohol ink and then we'll just see what happens, okay? We're just gonna see. So here's some purple. And I will start to blow this around. And then I'm thinking I, I actually wanna put some pink on this. I am trying to be a little bit respectful of my color families with this. Remember, I did throw some more paint color burst down and I did not wet it. I'm gonna let the alcohol ink interact with it and just see what happens. I do like this. I think it's turning out actually quite lovely. But I do wanna throw, I think I wanna throw on definitely some pink um, alcohol ink. But it, this is such a cool alcohol ink because it reacts with not only you know, alcohol, but water. So I thought using it with a color burst on the foil paper would be kind of fun, and um, it is. It's super fun. 
oh my god I love it that's really turning out cool so I want to throw some pink on this because that's pretty dark and I want to lighten it up just a little bit so let me just put some of this and this is the and look at how that all just kind of totally just re reacts with all of it I mean it's even kind of turning white up in that area which is kind of cool I love this and then it kind of all went purple which is okay so That's really cool. It almost looks matte up in that corner. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's awesome. All right, so it's almost dry. Let me throw on just some more of this pink color burst, and then I'm gonna spray it with some water because I like to live dangerously. Ooh, that's cool. And then we're just gonna blow it around. And um, is that not the coolest thing ever? Like, I'm loving this. I do have like a little bit, looks like there's a little bit right there that needs to interact. Okay, and then I wanna throw on, I'm gonna throw on some more pink, even though it's just literally blending into the purple. So I think I'm gonna do another one and I'm gonna do it on the Starstruck. And I'm just going to focus on pink, the rouge um, color burst, and then that's fun. And then also this pink, um, this pink one. I'm just, let me, let's just see what this does without me blowing it. I kind of, do you guys mind just watching that for just a minute? I mean, I know it's not that exciting to like watch paint dry, but um, I'm kind of loving what that's doing right now. I think that's super awesome. I just love how it, it's interacting with everything. How fun is that? I mean, dang. Okay, so should I start? I'm gonna start to blow it a little bit, I think. Blow it out. I know I have a huge mess. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, wow, you guys. How cool is this? For reals, ugh. Now, there's still a little bit of powder up there, so I'm just going to take and kind of wet that down and blow it out. This is fun. I hope you guys don't mind just watching me play. I mean, mm, so fun. I want to get the majority of the liquid kind of off on this. This is really, this is turning out so much better than what I had anticipated. Like, I really didn't know what was going to happen if I put color burst and alcohol ink on foil paper. I've never done that before. Um, I was actually watching Ken Oliver today over on a live, and he was doing some cool stuff with... I don't know, he inspired me to do this. No, he didn't. He wasn't even working on foil paper, um, but he did have some alcohol ink and he was, it was just cool. And so I'm like, huh, I wonder what would happen if I put that on alcohol ink. And now I know. I mean, that's awesome, am I wrong? Like, isn't that cool looking? I have to clean up my area, of course. So I'm gonna try to do like a pink background right now with just, oh my God, look at that. So that still has to dry, obviously. The back is even kind of cool. But you know, I love it on the silver because as you can tell on the silver, you can really see that color 
Um, it just is lighter. It's more vibrant. And then the gold, I mean, that's pretty too, but there's definitely another level of intensity on the gold than there is on the silver. It's just a more, it's a more moody type, um, rich. That's the word I think I'm looking for. So let me set that aside so that can dry. And then, um, of course, I need to clean up my space here so that I can go ahead and lay. This time I want to do on Starstruck, on the Starstruck uh, foil paper so you can see how it reacts with the, um, how the, the embossed stars react with, with what I just did. And I'm going to just do a pink background on this. So I'm going to do like the pink and the rouge on this. Make sure that this is all pretty much... Don't want to cross contaminate if I don't have to. My hands are going to get really dirty, but I'm totally okay with that. Okay, so here's this piece of paper right here. All right, so let's first lay out our rouge. Okay, so that's our rouge color burst and We'll wet it a little bit just to get it moving. Okay, so that's the first layer of color burst here. And then I'm going to take my little puffer and uh, move it around a little bit. And as you can tell, this does move. I mean, like it's not staying anywhere. It's not holding its own so to speak. It's, I mean, I bet I could blow the whole thing off of the paper because it's water, you know, there's nothing really to hold it there. It'll eventually dry, but it's water. So, but that's not a bad thing because it does cool, you know, it has really cool effects. So let me go ahead and start to throw on this pink, these pinks. So I'm going to use this one um, which is the spectral, so there's no shine in this. And then this is the sparkle, and there is some shimmer and shine in this. And let's just play with it for a minute. Let's just see what we can get. Okay, so that one was the spectral. And it does tend to It does tend to um, stain the paper, which is what you want. You want it to stain the paper. And it does interact with that color burst too, right? Because the color burst is wet. And when it comes in contact with her, with um, Christy Taylor's alcohol ink, it kind of dries. So it interacts. I chose her alcohol ink on purpose because I knew that it can be used with water, which is very unusual for alcohol ink. Normally you can't use it with water. Um, so this is the sparkly one. All right, and this is kind of fun, although I think I'm gonna throw some purple alcohol ink in on this because you know, it's a little bit blah. I think there needs to be some color variety in here for sure. So I did a really nice base of pink. So let's go ahead and just throw on a little bit of blue color burst and I won't wet it right off the bat. I'm going to go ahead and uh, throw the blue on first and then I'll throw on some alcohol ink, blow it around and then maybe we'll wet it after. Okay, so here is some blue, and then let's go ahead and do some Bast Blue. This is a really pretty blue, and look, it's already reacting. That's cool. It's fun. So let's just put some in a couple spots and just kind of let it do its thing and move. That's very cool. And then let me put on some bright blue. Okay, 
I'm liking that, I'm liking how that's looking. Let me move it around a little. And then, um, let me see if I have some purple out. Yes, I'll do some purple. So it definitely, you know, darkened it up some, which isn't a bad thing. I thought it was a little bit too pink. So I'm going to go ahead and put some more pink down on top of this, and then we'll do some purple on top of it. But this page, I cannot even get over. That's so cool. And look, now that it's drying, I totally can see more pink in that. So let me throw this on down. Pretty freaking awesome. I think we're gonna get a look kind of similar to this to this one up here. And as it dries, I'm noticing that it, you know, definitely has different things going on as it dries. Okay, so So pretty. I like that little splat look that it does. I love that. Oh, this is fun. Wow. I love, I'm really loving how this is turning out, you guys. Not even lying right now. This is amazing. So pretty. Just how it's bouncing off of the stars. That is so cool. Okay, so I'm going to put a little bit of purple on it. And then I'll finish off probably with some more pink. But I'm really digging on this. I think it's so cool. Just taking where I can still see that silver and popping some pink through. And I, it's just, it's maneuvering and wow. So I'm going to put some color burst on it. Maybe that'll be fun. Do some pink color, color burst on some spots. Create some fun texture. Okay, let me blow it out a little bit and then if I have to wet it, I can but it's pretty wet, so I don't know if I'm gonna need to add any more water to this. Actually, I am. I'm not liking how dark that is right there. It's like, it's almost like a muddy. So, definitely. Wanna maneuver that out. Oh my God, this is so cool. All right. I love it. That's awesome. And I love that I can still see some of the silver through it as well. So this, this is, you know, this is Renia foil paper. This is amazing stuff. It's mm -hmm. kind of a staple in my craft room because you can do so much with it. Um, I mean, this is really cool. So this is Color Burst and the Christy Taylor ink. All right. And that's like what the back looks like for now. And then this is the same type technique on regular flat silver. So the texture definitely adds something to it. Um, thank you, Kiki Life. I think it's pretty cool too. And then this is just 
the alcohol ink straight up on the silver paper. So definitely some cool stuff right here. And look, the back of this is wet. Just dab that in there. This is so fun. Anyway, you guys, I do have the Renea foil paper linked down below. So make sure you go and check them out um, if you're interested in this. And then also look up Christy Taylor. She um, has some great stuff. I'll link her down to down below as well if you're interested in that. And uh, the ghost ink, you know, the ghost ink is awesome. It removes the color like I showed you. So go make sure you, you check out that. But anyway, I just want to come on and play. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, but yeah, this was so fun. Oh my God, so awesome. Until next time. Happy crafting.